I'm glad to announce that the Eco Expo Asia 2021 will be held on 27th to 30th October 2021. As a supporter of Eco Expo Asia, the Environment Bureau will continue to co organize this permanent event in collaboration with the Hong Kong Trade Development Council. The theme for this event is promoting green recovery for carbon neutrality. It's indeed a timely response to the most imminent challenges that we are facing. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought about an unprecedented crisis that calls for concerted efforts to provide a green recovery for strengthening the economy and protecting the environment in an integrated way. Combating climate change is a major challenge of this century. In November last year, the Chief Executive of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region announced that in the 2020 policy address that Hong Kong would strive to achieve carbon neutrality before 2050. To this end, we will update the Hong Kong's Climate Action Plan in the middle of 2021 to set out more proactive strategies and measures to deepen the reduction of carbon emissions. In addition, there are three more environmental blueprints in 2021. In February 2021, we also launched the Waste Blueprint for Hong Kong 2025. The updated Waste Blueprint advocates waste reduction, resources circulation, zero landfill that can help build a circular economy create green jobs and support decarbonization. In March 2021, we launched Hong Kong's first ever roadmap on the popularization of electric vehicles, EVs. Among various measures to promote wider use of EVs, it maps out a timeline for banning the new sales of conventional fuel propelled private cars by 2025. The roadmap supports Hong Kong's green and smart transition towards carbon neutrality. Around mid-2021, we will have to update the Clean Air Plan for Hong Kong. It will set our long-term goals and device measures to further improve air quality and support deep decarbonization. To achieve a green recovery and deep decarbonization, we need to innovatively explore various types of zero-carbon energy and decarbonization technologies. For more zero-carbon vehicles and green mobility, and develop modern waste-to-energy and waste-to-resources facilities. We will also nurture green finance to boost investments conducive to carbon reduction. The Eco Expo Asia 2021 will provide a valuable platform for showcasing and exploring the latest green and decarbonization technologies and products, and offer a host of green business opportunities. I hope you will join us in promoting Green recovery for carbon neutrality at the Eco Expo Asia 2021 in the coming October. Thank you.